Judy's Place. Y'all, today, I will be showing you my easy, simple recipe of cooking wonton soup with bok choy. Okay, quickly, I'm going to take you through what you need. You'll need noodles. Now, this is uh, the noodle I am using is the uh, ramen noodle. Quick and simple, ramen noodle. Or you can buy some of those Chinese noodles out of the uh, uh, grocery store or whatever. I'm going to stick with what I have always stuck with, the uh, ramen noodle. We need two packs, okay? The uh, egg wraps, not the egg wraps, the uh, wonton wrappers. Green onion, the white and the green. A little bit of water to seal the uh, wrappers. Chop your shrimp. You can mince it up, or you can just chop it up in small little pieces. I chopped mine in small pieces. I didn't mince it up. Um, I don't like it minced. I like mine in little pieces. Okay? Pork. I took um, some bonus pork chop, and I ground it up. And I think it's a half a pound, and this is a pound. Okay? You need sugar, black pepper, Sesame oil, soy sauce, and I use a little sesame garlic. It's called Iron Chef Sesame Garlic. The ginger and the garlic. And just a little mirin. Cornstarch. Now, I, I put like a, a teaspoon of cornstarch in here. And I've already mentioned the bok choy. Okay, you'll need, uh, on the other side, you will need chicken broth, uh, sesame, um, no, uh, olive oil, butter, um, fish sauce, uh, some uh, oyster sauce, and um, chili. Red chili. You'll need the two packages come out of the uh, ramen noodles. You'll need a uh, chicken broth. And I'm going to put this in my chicken broth, the two packages that come out of the, uh, uh, out of the uh, ramen noodles. Okay? So let's get started here mixing our shrimp, our pork together. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're going to add the half pound of pork into the pound of shrimp. We're going to add a teaspoon of cornstarch. We're going to add, add a half a teaspoon of mirin. Two teaspoons of garlic, minced garlic. I'm going to put this on that side over there because I'm going to need that for the other thing I'm, I'm going to do over there. Okay, you'll need two teaspoons of ginger. Chef sesame garlic. You'll need about one teaspoon. Whoa, I put just a little bit too much in there. So I'm going to say like two teaspoons. A tablespoon of garlic sauce, uh, uh, soy sauce. I'm so sorry. Tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm 
One tablespoon of sesame oil. Black pepper. I want to say a teaspoon. And one teaspoon of sugar. Okay, you're going to mix it up. Stirring it all in one direction. Okay, now let me get my wonton uh, wrappers out. Okay, the wontons are very simple to wrap. You need just a teaspoon in each wrapper, and you're gonna take and uh, put a little water around the sides of it. You're gonna pick it up, fold it in half. Then you're gonna wrap it Pinch it up, pinch it up like that. Squeeze it up tight. And there's your wong tongue. I'm gonna put them in this bowl right here. I'm gonna do two more for you. So you will uh, sort of see what I'm doing. I'm putting the water around the side. Pinch it up in half. Wrap it up like that, squeeze it up, then you're going to pinch them, pinch them, and pinch them just like that, and then you're going to squeeze it tight. They're not the prettiest wong tongs, but they work for me, okay? You're going to put it right on the side, the water on the side. Then you're gonna squeeze it up in half, like that, and down the sides. Pushing the air out. Then you're gonna pinch it up, pinch it up, pinch it up, pinch it up like that, okay? And that's your warm tongue. I'm going to do one more, then I'm going to get to wrapping these wonton noodles or whatever. Wonton noodles? I don't know. I'm going too fast. I really want to go ahead and get it, get it through. So, you pinch it like that in half, squeezing the air out. Then you're going to take and place it up like that, like that, and like that, and like that. Just, just squeezing the top of it. Really, really tight. And making sure you're sealing it. So when it's boiling, your uh, stuff won't come out, okay? And there you go. Make sure you pinch the sides, okay? And I'm going to go away and I'm going to put my noodles, my uh, one-tongue wrappers together. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now we're getting ready to make the soup for the wonton noodles. I don't know why I want to call them wonton noodles, but who are wontons? We wrapped them all up. We actually wrapped 20 here, and then I wrapped 20, and I put them in the freezer, because they'll keep up to, like, maybe a month or two. They'll keep. So now I'm getting ready to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. 
I've got my chicken broth in the back back here. And I did add one package of the chicken flavored powder mix that came out of the romaine noodles. Okay. I'm going to saute my onions. For about two, about two minutes. Okay, after two minutes, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of ginger, ginger paste, about a teaspoon of garlic paste, We're going to turn it down low, just a little low, about on medium, okay? Now we're going to add the chicken broth. About six cups. We're going to add our green onions in. And let them simmer for about maybe two, three minutes. After the green onions have cooked for about maybe three, four minutes. I'm going to add the soy sauce about a tablespoon, about two tablespoons. Fish sauce, about a teaspoon. Okay, and now I'm getting ready to put my bok choy into the broth. I'm going to cut it, well, tear it in half. And this is going to cook for about maybe five minutes. And in the back, I have chicken broth that I'm going to uh, put my wontons in. Okay, so as the bok choy is cooking, we're going to add our wontons in the back. Okay, we're going to drop our wontons in, in the water here in the back. And this is our uh, chicken broth water. And we got a little cold water to slow them down just a little bit if they get too, like in a raging boil. We're going to drop them all in there and we're going to stir them to keep them from going to the bottom and sticking. So I think we dropped about maybe 10, I mean uh, 20, I'm sorry, 20. And you're going to keep them stirred so they won't go to the bottom and stick. Keep them stirred until they float to the top. Okay, next, 
we're gonna put our noodle, Roman noodle, noodle down in the water. I've turned it on really low. It doesn't take Roman noodles that long to cook. The um, long tongs in the back, they're ready. Didn't take them but five to six minutes. Now we're waiting on the wong I mean the uh, ramen noodle. And I've turned that on low. Bok choy is done. And I'm going over here to take the um, wong tongs out.